But the three things in life that never come back when gone, Yahweh, time, Yahweh, words and action. And you wait to me, your previous videos, you know, if you go me see And then I read the last one, which is opportunity. Opportunity is once in life, they say. Opportunity comes but once. Comes but once. In, in school, we have academic opportunity, and in workplace, we have promotion opportunity, and so on. Opportunity comes from a lot of perspective, but it comes at an instant and never comes back. Aquenya, opportunity. Say, opportunity. It comes but once. And the bar, make good use of the opportunity you have. And remember, there are a lot of people there, but the bosses, the CEOs, the managers, the people, the senior colleagues, they give you the opportunity. Make good use of it. When you're done, you move forward. If you waste any opportunity, remember you can get it again when it's gone. And I always tell my younger sister, said, Sika ne winya. People are giving you gifts. The things they are giving you to you. The time will come, you won't get it again. Make good use of it. Have brothers who I speak to. You see the opportunity you have today. The time will come, you won't get it. Your heart and spirit, your body, your soul will be yearning for such opportunity again, but you won't get it. And any opportunity that you have today, make good use of it. Because opportunity comes but once. Say your jumam, say your school, say your busyam, baby be will be a when the opportunity comes, grab it, make good use of it. Some of us we had a lot of opportunities that fire connect we wouldn't be struggling i know someone's so when your opportunities be a when you zanka will fire was a baby be ma it take years and sun as opportunity now baby so we should make good use of the opportunities that we get life is a game at which everybody can lose life is a game at which everybody can lose so if you find yourself playing a position in life it's an opportunity every place where you find yourself is an opportunity and never try to misuse it. A lot of people in other places like schools, churches, and offices are trying hard. Are trying hard, wishing to be in other places. And I want to challenge you by saying, if you want to be in a better place, you have to make your place the best. If I want to be in a better place, I want a better job than what I am doing. I have to make what I am, make what I am doing the best. I knew a girl, uh, he had grade 6, I was given admission, I would be in C school, she, she was never happy, not a ninja, and any time she had an encounter with somebody, she always said, say, say, even not because of something, I wouldn't be here, you know, most of us, we say it, they would school, no, you be baby, any baby, and come and crack up, I wouldn't be here, now, surprisingly, she was one of the best students in the school. One day, the Minister of Education visited all grade C school to award scholarship to best students in those schools. Unfortunately for this girl, she was part of them. But this is a school that when we say opportunity be a dear man, a young girl grade A school anka onya sa opportunity no. So what they say? She supposing she went to a grade A school, she would have missed such an opportunity. To every place we find, wherever we find ourselves, we should make it say opportunity be a dear man. Let's make it the best out of ourselves. Let's cherish it. There's always one moment in life when the door opens and let the future in for you to be blessed with opportunity. A lot of Christians think about how ordinary people better their lives as compared to them. Sometimes don't worry about what they have. It is said that they are always gathering it to become an opportunity for you. So don't try to misuse your time in the name of Christianity. There's time for everything. The secret of success is to be ready for opportunity when it comes. So what you are looking for opportunities, you are looking for, are you ready? Have you asked yourself, am I ready? Am I ready? Say, opportunity be bad. Am I ready for that? A pastor always re regrets of his missing opportunity to read signs after school, but was given an admission letter by a shipping and management institute of which he refused because he always wanted to become a doctor, which he was not qualified to be. Now, shipping careers have been one of the ever-experienced hot cake in Nigeria. I we thank God 
for everything because if you fall, pick something up. Any opportunity lost should be replaced by another opportunity. We should always desire for more opportunities. We should pray to God to give us what we deserve rather than our heart's desires. Anything God gives us is an opportunity and we should grab it with good faith work towards it to achieve our goals. Opportunities define people's success. People's success. Opportunity is like an egg on a crate. If not kept well, it will crack. And I'm seeing this again. Opportunities. An opportunity is like an egg on a crate. If not kept well, it will crack. When opportunities begin to crack, life starts to be unfair. When opportunities begin to crack, life starts to be unfair every individual has the responsibility to learn and miss the opportunity sometimes knocks very softly to make good use of every opportunity that you have and you have to put this in your mind that the opportunity is like an egg on a crate and if not kept warm it will crack and the moment opportunity begins to crack life starts to be unfair let's know this in three things three things in life that never come back when gone time where's an action opportunity when it's gone it will never come back a bit of quiet go where's Actions acquire opportunity by night. Influence acquire time. Let's make good use of words. Let's make let's be careful the words we use and our actions. And let's make good use of opportunities when it comes. Follow your Facebook, food for thought, Instagram, free money news life, TikTok, food for thought, uh, YouTube. Nah, or subscribe. No, sorry, no, subscribe. Free man news life. Our next topic. Our next topic. Hey, three things in life that should never be lost. Come and talk about three things in life that should never be lost. And Yama means a wa brabo man. And was say a year if you are brabo. And I free one, sir. We'll come and talk about that. Make it dead with us.